Now, before I officially begin, I have to say this will probably be the last episode of Pokemon Facts and Trivia for quite a while, considering the fact that the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon walkthrough will begin soon. But as soon as that is over, Pokemon Facts and Trivia will be back. So, for now, enjoy Pokemon Facts and Trivia, Episode 5. Fact number 1. Menifee and Fiona. Manaphy and Fiona, they're kind of strange legendary Pokemon, aren't they? Yeah, they're definitely, uh, nothing that I've ever seen before. Well, actually, Manaphy and Fiona are based off of Japanese fairy-like creatures called Cleone. Cleone are actually slugs that live in the cold waters of Hokkaido. In case you guys didn't know, Hokkaido is actually the Sinnoh region in the games. Yes, I did say that they were slugs, like Shellos and Gastaron. Kind of weird, right? Fact number two, the Swords of Justice. The Swords of Justice are the only group of legendary Pokemon that have had their group renamed over time. When Pokemon Black and White were first released, they are just referred to as the Musketeer Trio, excluding Keldeo. When Keldeo was first released to the public and his backstory was revealed, they were called the Musketeer Group. When the 15th Pokemon movie was released in Japan, they were renamed the Sacred Swordsman. And when the movie was released in English, they were renamed for a fourth and final time, being called the Swords of Justice. Fact number three, Marlin. When Pokemon Black and White 2 were released, Everybody was like, oh sweet, a black gym leader, that's so cool. But a quick look at his feet reveals that he is actually a white dude with a really bad tan. Now going back to the map that we saw at the beginning, the Hoenn region is actually based off of Kyushu, which is closest to the equator. So it's very likely that some dude there could get a really, really bad tan. Now, what does this have to do with Marlin? Marlin actually speaks with the Kyushu dialect in the Japanese versions of Pokemon Black and White 2. So, with the bad tan and the Kyushu dialect, he would think that he might be from the Hoenn region. In addition, when you battle him normally in Pokemon Black and White 2 in his gym, his only non-native Unova Pokemon is his Wailord, which just so happens to be from Hoenn. Fact number 4, Red's Team. Ah, good old Red. We talked about him in episode 3 of Pokemon Facts and Trivia, I believe. The first thing about Red's team is that his team actually had a perfect 31 IVs in every stat. No wonder he's the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. In addition, in Generation 2, his Pikachu is level 81, which makes it the most highest level Pokemon to face the entire games. However, in Pokemon Platinum, Barry's starter Pokemon, which is either Torterra, Empoleon, or Infernape, will reach level 85 if you rematch him enough times. This was addressed to Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, where Red's Pikachu was up to level 88. So Pikachu reclaimed its name of most powerful Pokemon in the games. One more thing about Pikachu, it learns Volt Tackle in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. But the only way for Pikachu to learn Volt Tackle is if it's born with Volt Tackle as a Pichu. This would contradict the events in Generation 1 in Pokemon Yellow version when you get Pikachu as, well, a Pikachu, not a Pichu. However, since Red's Pikachu is partially based off of Ash's in the anime, it could be understandable they learned Volt Tackle because Ash's Pikachu learned Volt Tackle through the Elfling Gum. Fact number 5 Retyping. In Generation 6, a lot of people have been thinking that there's going to be a new type that will be revealed. Most people have been saying it's going to be the light type or the sound type, based on the fact that Xerneas Rua doesn't look like any type of Pokemon, nor does Sylveon. People have also been predicting that older Pokemon, such as Clefable for instance, would be retyped to the light type to even out the balance. Now retyping is not a new concept in Pokemon. In fact, there are actually three Pokemon that have been retyped over time. Magnemite and Magneton were both pure electric type Pokemon in Generation 1, but when the Steel type was introduced in Generation 2, these Pokemon were retyped to be both electric and Steel type. 
In addition to Pokemon Black and White, Rotom's alternate forms were retyped to get their own types instead of just being Ghost and Electric no matter what form they were in. But Pokemon aren't the only things that have been retyped. Bite, Gust, Karate Chop, and Santac were all normal type moves in Generation 1, but they were all changed to different types in Generation 2. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already.